Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? Mark here, and tonight I'm going to show you how to do what I call a reverse engraving or to punch some text out of a background. And uh, I was going to do a live recording tonight, but we had some technical difficulties on Facebook. So I'm just going to record this now, and I'll, I'll post it in the group and back on my website and also on YouTube so that you guys can look at it later. But this is what I'm basically going to make right here, and it's really, really easy. Um, but I want to show you how to do it. So let's just jump right into it. So I always start with a workspace that's 12 inches by 20 inches so that if you're a Glowforge user, you know that that's the uh, size of the, the bed there. And in this case, the piece of wood that I used was uh, 6 inches by 12 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in 6 by 12 and get a box that's that size. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the background black for now. All right, so there's my there's my piece of wood or my space I'm going to be using. And then um, just for sake of time, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to lay all of that out because that'll take a while. Um, but I'll go ahead and just say uh, I'll type something else like maybe it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> and of course, I can't type while I'm talking. <laughs> Uh, so there's there's some text right there. I'll make it a little bigger, and we'll even we'll even make it um, a couple lines like that, and we'll make it a little bigger, and then I'm gonna change it to white just so I can see it. Uh, so I'm gonna drag it over here on top of the square, and this is the part that's really really easy. All you gotta do is right click on it or secondary click if you're on a Mac, and then create outlines. And so now it's converted from uh, text to a shape. So you can't, you can't edit the text anymore, uh, but now it's a shape. And then now if you select both the background and the text and then go down here to Pathfinder and go to the second one right here called Minus Front. Click that. And although you can't tell that anything happened, if I were to now grab this and bring it over here, you can see that the text is transparent now or punched out of the background and that's all you do there so then when you bring this into uh, the Glowforge interface and tell it to engrave it's going to engrave all of the black and it's going to leave the white text or the transparent text in this case it's going to leave it all there and not uh, engrave it so it's going to look like this so I know that was short and quick, but it's really very easy. You know what? While I got you here, let me show you one more thing because I know people have asked about this also. I'm going to undo a few times. Let's say that this is um, that this is a script text of some sorts. Let's just pick anything uh, like that. Ooh, that looks terrible. <laughs> uh, so let's let's uh, let's make that look a little less terrible just because my OCD will bother me. So it's a beautiful. So something like that. Let's say that it's a lowercase like that, like it should be. And let's say that you want to do this. If you go ahead and right click on it and create outlines like we did before, you see that none of these are actually connected or welded together. That's no problem because all you want to do is select it, which I already have, and go down here to Shape Modes to Pathfinder and click Unite. And you see now that it's all united together. And then we can do just what we did before, select both the background and the text, and click the second one, which is minus front. And now it again is punched out just like it was before, and I'll bring it over here just so you can see through it right there. And that's all we need to do to make that kind of look. So then you can mess around with getting your text the way you want it laid all out, and then convert it to outlines, and then minus front, and you'll be good to go. I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Or you can message me over on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash bigbluelaserdesigns. Happy to help you guys. I will see you in the next one.